F. Murray Abraham won the Academy Award for Best Actor for Amadeus for his role as Antonio Salieri, the famed Italian composer. He starred in many fabulous movies, All the President's Men, Scarface, and this year's big hit, The Grand Budapest Hotel. He has made dozens of films in Italy. This year, he starred in The Mystery of Dante with acclaimed Italian director, Louis Nero. In 2004, F. Murray was given the Premio per l'Italiani nel Mondo, an award from the Italian government. F. Murray is also renowned for his theater and television work and is a regular on the award-winning series Homeland. I'm so thrilled that he's here today to chat with us about his connection with Italy. So let's start with, what's your connection with Italy? What does Italy mean to you? Italy is very important to me for a couple of reasons. First of all, my mother is from Italy, Giuseppina. And um, she's very proud to be Italian. And uh, I have made a lot of movies in Italy with some very good people. And it's my second home. I, I'm very comfortable in Italy, but mostly in Rome. It's uh, like a second home to me. But mostly it's because my mother was so proud to be Italian that she made sure her three sons were very aware of that. And I am very offended that people have a stereotype of what Italy and Italians mean. They seem to forget the Italian Renaissance. They seem to forget Galileo and Michelangelo and Leonardo and Caravaggio, they seem to forget that they're the, some of the greatest artists who ever lived. But tell me a little of, of more about your mom. What, what was it like um, when you were little in her home? What Italian uh, things did she add? My mother was from a family of 14, and uh, my grandfather, Bruno, was a coal miner on his hands and knees six days a week for $24 a week. But he raised 14 children. My mother was the world to me. She, uh, I was, I'm a real Italian son. I worshipped my mother. And when I wanted to become an actor, everyone was against it except my mother. You were Dante in a mm. film in Italy. Can you tell us a little about that film? Yes. I can tell you that this is probably one of the most important films I made. A very little film, but very important. And Nero is responsible for it. I think this man Nero is one of the most important filmmakers in Italy today. He's a very smart man, and we based a lot of what we did on some of the, the, the classic, classic mystics in, in, uh, in history. There are still important filmmakers, very independent, like Nero. Not enough of them, but I think they're coming up. You performed with some of the great female Italian actresses. <laughs> I've got to share a little story. Sofia Loren, Claudia Cardinali. Let me tell you something about Sofia. We were working with, uh, with uh, Lena Vermuller, and my mother at the time, God rest her soul, was very sick in, uh, in uh, America. And I asked Sophia if she would mind calling her to say hello, because uh, all Italians love Sophia. She called my mother and spoke to her for about 25 or 30 minutes from Italy to, to uh, America. It was, uh, that's the kind of woman she is. It meant, meant everything to me. If for some reason I had to leave America because it's my first love, I would live in Italy immediately because uh, I feel very welcome there. When I am in Italy, I feel like I am at home. It's that simple. And I think most people feel the same way. I teach maybe once a year at Cinecittà. I teach Shakespeare. And I have a translator for people who don't speak uh, English because my Italian is brutto, it's terrible. But uh, last year, for example, I taught um, Mercante de Venezia, and I had everyone do certain scenes. And uh, it, was, uh, it was such a, a good experience that I've been invited back every year. And I just feel like uh, I could live there very easily. It's as though I had another life at one time, and I lived it in Italy. No matter where I go there, 
the north, the south, because I've worked all over in Sicily, anche in Sicilia. And I'm always welcome there. I never feel uncomfortable or unsafe. People talk about uh, Italy like you have to be careful. That's not true. That's a lie. I love good wine and I love good food. So I think I belong in Italy. Grazie tanto, davvero. Hey.